All right, welcome gamers. That was Building a Nest for Eggs by Steve uh, Jablonski. It's from the Sims 3 soundtrack. And it there's a 0% chance that's actually going to make it into the video. I'll probably actually cut it pre-upload because I know it's going to get copyright claimed because the Sims 3, I'm, I don't think they allow anything of music like to be uploaded. But anyway, now we're on uh, Sewer Slut's album, Infatuation, which is very quiet in the background, so I'm going to raise that up a little bit more. But yeah, I was, like, playing The Sims 3 one day after I reinstalled it with, or bought it on Steam, and I was, like, dumbstruck by that particular song. So I had to track it down in The Sims, because The Sims 3 has, like, a soundtrack playing feature. And I wound up just playing it and then recording it with OBS and using Audacity to extract the audio. But anyway, that's not what I'm here. I'm, I'm not here to tell you how to rip music from The Sims 3 and then share it with people illegally. I'm here to, uh, what am I do doing? Oh yeah, main story stuff today. So I think I'm going to go through, well, I'm trying to think, do I want to go through the main area again? Maybe what I'll do is I'll play the game a little bit to get to, like, the Plateau Town and think, like, and try to think of, like, what do I actually want to be here? Like, what scenario do I want? Because I'm still doing, I'm doing the end game stuff off stream. But, uh... Oh, yeah, and also, I'm... Configuring the game on the other display. This familiar dance. But okay. So, I guess I'll just go through the game as I normally would. Because I've also done some other... Uh... Did I... Is this? Hmm... That's not accurate. Okay, well, this is... I'm not going to deal with that today. What I'm going to deal with is... Uh, let's just put then bugs. Uh, dialogue indicators came too... Or like, uh, shown too early. This is a writing day. I've done plenty of bug fixing the past, like, week. Oh, yeah, also, some of these songs are, like, loud, so I should keep them, like, at a manageable level. But, okay. Oh, yeah, also, let's make sure that the music is muted here. It is. Okay. All right, so let's just, let's just go through my intended play route. Talk to this guy. Um, uh, yeah. Because one of the things I want to do for the early game is make it so that you can use most of your notes, like, to directly ask things like, um... Where is Jackie's mom? Or, like, where can she find more information about her mom? Oh, wait, hang on. I keep putting, like, other... I keep putting, like, music in front of my OBS, so I can't actually tell if I'm, like, live or not. <laughs> and it always scares me to look over, because I'm like, am I muted now? I might be. But anyway. As I was saying, I'm basically gonna make it so that you can, like, beeline the story by just, like, asking people questions, essentially. And so if you don't want to ask them any interesting questions, and just want to ask them, like, how do I, like, advance the plot, they will give you generally helpful advice. But, you know, I've played, you know, like, I've been in this area for so long, in this, like, starting region. We probably need to make a little bit more interesting stuff. And I'll probably save, like, a pre, like, or post-demo area or something like that. Because 
because I, I keep forgetting that I actually have a system for, like, managing multiple saves. I just don't use it because it's only by the console. Okay. And so now... We have all this stuff. And the skipping dialogue now is actually functional because I can read all the dialogue. So I can do that. Oh, the anyway is no longer necessary, but okay. So now we have um, a map that goes to Plateau Town. So let's say if we have Plateau Town. Ah, okay. Hang on. Let's go to Armstrong. So the first thing I'm going to add is a question. How do I get to Plateau Town? Or like, what routes do you think I should have? Um, let's go to... Intro, Armstrong. Um, mum slash plateau. So let's do Oh yeah, there's more stuff here now. Notes uh So what I'm going to do for this one is basically just, we can note Namum, and then we can also note um, the plateau itself. Well, eh, let's just do plateau. Let's see, so I think it'll be... Let's see, so what what direction would he go? I also keep forgetting what... Okay, so this is east, this is west. That's the only way I can remember it, because I can remember what direction the sun rises from. North, south. So we would go south to Putkela, up the cliff, then cross the bridge. And so that would give the... That would put the player in the way of various little fun little activities, like this and this and this. So let's do that. Let's do, like, notes, plateau, slash, put Kella. And I can remember this and use this elsewhere if I, if, like, the player can ask other people how to get up here. So that way, if they've already asked somebody, they won't have, like, a bunch of duplicate notes.
Um. So I should also make sure that that's actually in here. Uh, basically, um, let's put that as like V4 Cave 137 Main Path Side Branches So easy to navigate, well lit, and populated. And this will be dark, confusing. Because this is what I want, sort of, for... Because I talked before how there was, during playtesting, the cave as it was, was basically unplayable. Oh, yeah, this is one of the louder songs. But oh well. Um... And that was because I was trying to strike a balance between, well, basically the way I was designing the caves was these sort of haphazard, chaotic places that are really difficult. The problem is, this cave in particular is the way up this cliff. Like, it is the way to get from here to here. So if I want the player to have to do that, it should be easy. And then I can have the chaotic side branches that go as deep and as far as I want. And I can put all the cool little bits there. Because players, I think, won't mind if they're like, Oh, I want to like go the extra mile and find something cool. And especially in the modern internet day, if they, have, if they look up a video of the game of like, Here's how to get the cool secret. And it's like some really hard platform. They'll be like, they won't be like, oh man, I missed out. They'll be like, wow, cool. I wonder what other secrets are in the game. Well, unless they just look up all the videos and then they're like, oh, the game has like 45 minutes of content spread out over six square kilometers or 36 square kilometers. Yeah, okay. But basically, this gives us this. Some of the larger caves have some good paths carved through, but don't wander around. But don't wander. They're still dangerous outside the main paths. <clears throat> Alright, so I should also put that in V4 as well. Um, is that here as well? Oh yeah. Uh, lots of fun stuff in here. Okay. Make going up the valley directly more difficult because basically I want it to be because right now it's actually pretty easy to just climb up this way and then walk which is kind of boring just making a straight line so I want it to be that you can do this if you have like stamina up or stamina booster so like you have to engage with the game a little bit more and then you're rewarded with those shortcuts just like the ladder here but okay that's enough of that and let's see is this good enough for the intro because right now i think this first draft is going to be kind of like very uh logistical very dry i guess you know what i mean because i can add more emotional content i think oh yeah i also need to do here print Okay, let's see if I can actually get this, uh...
I didn't even know this album was released after the Steven Universe movie. I didn't even, I didn't hear I did not hear these lyrics at all. I listened to this album while I was running. And it's I guess it just was incomprehensible to me. Okay. Forgot these. Also, sorry if I if you can hear me eating on stream at any point because uh I had- I bought like six chicken breasts on sale. Like boneless, skinless chicken breasts for $2.99 a pound. That's- a, that's a steal out here. Hmm. Oh wait, hang on. Oh. This was supposed to be one of those special loops. Wait, why is this, uh... Why is there an exit here, anyway? Uh, I'll just do this. Like, is there any reason that I wouldn't have this? This task doesn't exist anymore. Because <clears throat> that is when uh, there's a tower that would blow up, and then it would cause like a big logistical headache for everybody, and you really it, or inconvenience them, and you have to clean it up, or you get threatened with like jail time. But it was just like, I mean, one, the tower exploding, logistical nightmare, just horrible to like actually get it working. And then I remade the entire level because that level sucked. And it was like, I'm not doing that again. I'm not making the entire level destructible again. Just to, like, redo it again. Because I probably will. But okay, let's check the, the map. There we go. And from there... We should, uh... I'm just going to teleport there. There's almost enough to do in this area for it to be interesting, but not quite enough. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is skip this song and go to the transistor theme track or uh, soundtrack. It's more of a running song, you know, where your brain is focused on running. But okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably just make this the entrance to the caves. Yeah, let's just start. Let's just do that. So let's go to Blender. <clears throat> Excuse me.
I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Oh, excuse me. Because I think... Um... I think what would be best is to keep this entrance here, but to push this back, because otherwise there's some complexity with, like, the player could climb up this thing to see Lily. Well, would that be bad, though? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's like, I literally just push it back, see how it looks, and it's like, oh, that's, you know, there's literally zero problems with this. I have no idea how I'm going to actually, like, integrate all this, or what I'm actually going to put in here. Well, let's do, like, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I could do, like, um, let's just have this come out this far. I'll keep that as it is for now. Oh wait, I need to... Um... I need to... F I need to get in the face calling. Because otherwise I'm going to get confused by all this stuff. Yeah, backface culling is absolutely necessary here. There we go. Let's see, uh, wait, no. These would not have any sort of internal structure there. And also, isn't this, couldn't this whole thing just be mirrored? Why did I make it not mirrored? Why do I always make things harder on myself? Let's just murder this thing. Perfect. Now we have beautiful, seamless symmetry. guess from okay so very slowly and patiently and deliberately get these I should replay transistor as well that's another game that's just really nice
Hmm. What if I just put this here? And then we do like a... Uh... And now I can put little, little fun little activities in here. Eventually. Well, I'll actually... Uh, let's, let's keep it about this height, I think. Let's make these. That looks okay. Hmm. This could uh, use some improvement, I think. Oh well. What is this? Let's push this in, I guess, like this. Why is this? Oh, okay, I see. I do actually want this here. Maybe, wait, what? Hang on, what the hell is happening? Control R. Oh, it's because this line here. Um... All right, fine. I'll just put another line. And another line. Okay, now let's figure out how to make this not look like complete garbage. We can also clip, yeah, and we'll merge. If I do a triangle here, there, now it looks, uh, uh, you know, this is how it, it's how video games are made. Uh, and now.
Hmm. What the hell is this thing? Oh, this thing's that thing. Um. What if I uh, just merge all of these together? I mean, that's, uh, bad. But now, look at us. And I'll have to go through the miserable ordeal, trying to figure out how to make uh, this, all this stuff, align properly. Speaking of, I should have probably made it so that the actual, like, cave, that, or, uh, uh, You know what I mean? I should have made sure that this actually aligns with this. And also, I should have made it so that this exterior stuff doesn't didn't come out like this, because I'm going to need to do... Um, wait, hang on. Let's get this just right in there. Why is it, like, all screwed? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Like, how did this whole... How did this even happen? Okay. I have a simple idea. There we go. And now... Uh, just delete these garbage faces here. And we can put them somewhere else. And honestly, I should probably just delete this as well. Eventually, there we go. Okay, hang on. I have a great idea. There. Now I can actually see what's happening. I don't even need this. Do I even need this? There we go, ta-da! And I can do things like, um... Mark Sharp. So let's just go through all the floors and ceilings in this, in this little hunk of junk. And I'll also need to make sure that the materials are all properly set up.
And let's have like a... Why is there something like... Oh, there it is. So I want this out here to be cool. And now we have a little secret passage that does nothing right now, but that'll eventually be cool. Hmm. I probably should have made this door the same as this one, but... Uh, too late. I don't care. Maybe I'll do like that. And then we can have like a, um... Trying to understand what this little uh, garbage pile is. Now, oh, well. it is now wheelchair accessible. And I should have just used a bevel modifier on this, but oh well. Oh okay, yeah, I forgot. Half the point of that was to just... Because I'm going to take all this stuff. And I'm just going to drag this backward. So that way it actually, like, intersects with the, um... The what-have-you. The cave. Uh, let's watch this closely. Wait, I think... Okay, if I could just do this... Ta-da! And now it goes into the cave. And I can just put little props and things out here to, like, make it, uh, good, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how this looks.
I do not know where this trans... Oh, okay, so I thought the function reset was doing that. Now it's this transform function. Okay, so... I put her here. Then let's uh, transform. Also this blanket, I moved wrong. There we go. So it'll be easier for the player to get this, um, get to here, but that's fine. Okay, let's see what this actually looks like in-game, because I'll probably need to make the pyramid wider and adjust the, the cave, and that'll be miserable. Well, hmm. If I remove that rock, for starters... So yeah, because now, because I added those rocks because the cave was hard to see, but now it's not hard to see. Admittedly, I probably should have made it so that this was parented to the cave. Oh well. And now look at this, we had a big, beautiful area. And it's a little cramped. You know, maybe... You know, I won't have it overlap. I'll just have it be like this. I think. Uh, let's go there, exit. this I'm trying to I'm divided because it is sort of if we move it a little bit to its right and rotate it a little bit and then I may want to actually position it in the um, GLB or in the Godot scene, but then again, that would mean that I'm like overriding the inheritance, and that's a mess. Yeah, because it it's really kind of obvious that uh, this was not designed with this in mind. Well, what if I just what if I just take it off the pedestal? Like this pedestal doesn't really add anything, does it? Well, yeah, actually, Let's see how that looks. <clears throat> I 
And now that I'm thinking about it, actually, I can just do, um... So, chunk 137. Oh. Let's do, like... Chunk... Cave 137. And then we'll preview neighbors. And then next time I load that up, I'll be able to just see it. So yeah, eventually I can just make these walls extend out, or like these pillars extend into, I don't know. I can do, I can just do stuff here. And this certainly does make this little cave more obvious. Well... Hmm... Wait, what the heck is the ceiling texture? And eventually I can make this more aesthetically pleasing, because right now, I just want it to be clear to the player, this is a thing of importance, this cave. Because I don't think any player actually noticed it. And plus, one player did try to go into this, so it's like, obvious missed opportunity there. Okay, that seems good enough to me. It's not, like, amazing, but it'll do. So let's also get... So the NPC for the monument will now also tell you about the, the information area. Uh, site content 137. Hmm... Well, what if I just make it so that this, well, what if I just make the monument, like, why is this the thing? Well, I guess if this is like a religious site and this is like the actual nurse's area, that'd be fine. Yeah, that seems good enough. Also... Oh. Players were confused by this. Okay. So now we have a way through the cave or we have the entrance to the cave clearly delineated and, they, and it'll tell you, like, go to the information desk or whatever. And eventually I'll do more stuff here.
Okay, but now that I'm thinking about this, what do I actually want for this? Like, one is I'd want it to be centered with this. So that would be... Move it much further to the right. Probably rotate it a bit more. And then what would I want for... Oh, why is Lily there? Well, actually, who is there? Why, why is someone there? Who is this? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, now I can actually, like, see it relative to everything. So, yeah, now, now it'll be faster to actually see this as well. Wait, I shouldn't be fiddling with these guys, because they don't matter yet. Because I, I still haven't, like, centered this on the cave properly. Okay, so we need to... Move it this way. And then I can figure out some better way of handling the, um... Because, like, you know, the point of this entrance would clearly be to make it so that you can't enter the cave from the other side. And it fails to do that. Or so that you can't enter it without going through the monument. Hmm. So I guess what I could do is just grab these. It'll probably look really weird. Oh, wait, no, it won't work even. Hmm. Hmm. Because, I mean, I guess what I would do is I would have built it into the wall and then have it spill into the cave. And I could... Uh... I'll leave it as it is for now. It's good enough. It's at least centered. So let's just do... Better monument into the cave. Because I'll have to manually, like, hand type the coordinates in Blender to get the cave properly lined up with the cliff and all that stuff, so I'll just... That's not our goal right now. Our goal is to figure out if the video game is functional. Also, why does she keep going this- oh yeah, it's because the- the reset. Hang on. So we need the scene conductor and Lily. Yeah, that. Lily pops out. And then Lily resets. Perfect. And then all these folks. 
And they're basically good enough. And then probably let's just have like... Let's do like group uh, questions. And then maybe like to do uh, something else and then go to loop questions. Because it's a dramatically different color than everything else here. So I'm assuming the player will be, well, could be interested in like the lore behind it. But, you know, not that interested, or at least not very likely to be interested. So I don't need to worry about it yet. But okay, this is at least... Um... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't like it very much. It just doesn't look very good. It certainly makes that building more useful than it was before, but... Let's see, and I don't need to be here. So... So Rubik here, we can go... So there's plenty of stuff to do there. Let's no clip back in. And actually, I'll be back in a minute use the bathroom.
Okay, I had an idea for a little challenge. Because I've been trying to think of, like, there's some things that are difficult to intuit about the combat, so I'm just going to make it in Blender real fast. So let's do... It would be essentially... Let's say, like, this is tall enough that the player can't climb up this thing, and let's do, like, a... Uh... Something like that. And then you add... I add a little thing, like... Well... Yeah, I guess this would be fine. It's like you add a little thing, like, uh, here. And, like, this is tall enough for the player to climb or something. But, you know, they try to, they climb up this thing, and then they try to jump onto this thing, and they realize, like, oh, I can't climb this thing when I'm, like, jumping, basically. And so, like, there'll be a little, like, piece of candy here. And then they have to jump to, like, another thing, like, here. And it'll be, like, a... Uh... You know what I mean? Jump, skip, and then you and then you get to here, and then you can climb up this thing, and then you can get your little like piece of candy. Wait, actually. Well, let's make it very slightly sloped inward, so the player like is convinced that they can do it. Because basically, I want to teach the player a very specific mechanic, which is that they can't, or the slope that you can start climbing from is different than the slope that you can keep climbing or well it's the slope that you can start climbing from is different in the ground on the ground versus in the air if you jump you can't climb this you cling to it and then you can jump off if you crawl up to this thing and jump or climb on it you can do that fine so this will be like admittedly it does kind of look like a giant basketball or a giant baseball bat not a bas- not a- a, a- a giant basketball would be pretty easy to model. But okay, let's do- I'll just subdivide these or something. Well, maybe like bevel. Oh, this changes how the bevel works. Oh, I get it. Because it's... This is like the... It's like what's controlling how much... Or like the bevel detects the maximum amount it can bevel without like disrupting the geometry. Or like creating overlapping polygons or whatever. So I assume if I change, for example, this, this would change the bevel, or probably this somewhere in here? Yeah, I think. I can also make it a little bit... Let's just call this, like, um... I don't know, some sort of stone thing. Because I also don't want... I also wanted 
bring this into a different scene, I think. So let's just do that right now. Because this should be pretty early on. Let's go to, like, um... Eh, I guess I'll just... You know what? I'll just export it. Wrong place. Uh, stone, eventually? There we go. <clears throat> okay, uh, so I guess here is okay because there's there's all this stuff, and then let's go to 124 because 124 is starting to get like more like. Challenges that don't... Wait, which one is it? What the heck? 125, maybe? Yeah, okay. And Terrain Biro. Because I think... I think some of these two are impossible, actually. But okay, let's do, um... I just, just, I guess that's just... Uh... Valley Zone. And eventually this will also have, like, uh, not look like garbage. So I guess let's just call it, like, environment. Maybe just, like, challenges? Because these will be, like, one-time entities that I can then choose where to place them. Because I want to try to make them basically like, uh... Just simple platforming challenges to explain concepts to the player. And I should also make sure that they actually like, do what I am trying to explain. And these are compatible with the gravity gun. Oh. So I think for this, I need to scale it up probably by like two, I think. Let's just try that now. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to see if this actually conveys the idea that I want conveyed. There should be like... A little bit too big. Oh, 
Oh, I should have saved. Ah, well. Oh, wait, I just realized. Your audio is much, or my audio is much higher than it usually is, so I'm just going to amp up your audio. Okay. So let's, uh... Brain by row. No, that that exists. Oh wait, no. Barrio. I'll get there eventually. And now this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save. Because what I, what I want the player to do is realize that they can't climb that, but they can ledge grab here and climb up this way. And now I'll actually put things in the right places. Are these actually like... And if the player like goes all around the entire game world to get this another way, eh, I guess that'd be okay. Hopefully they'll have, hopefully in the process of doing that, they learn how to climb properly. Because otherwise, uh, it's a shame. Alright, let's also add another spatial here for the, um, this valley zone. So this is now one of the mechanics that I wanted. I should also see what else I have. So I think... Do I have the playtest here? Uh, let's do remove uh, test. Show and tell playtest. New test disappeared. That's completed. Collection probes are still bugged. Move faster through the overworld. So, climbing walls from the ground. This is what I'm trying to tutorialize. Climbing slopes. There was a player who was confused by the fact that you could also climb slopes rather than just sheer walls. Sounds from moving platforms clearly show wall jumps. This isn't really... T oh, I guess those... I guess it's tutorialization and direction. Here with the ammo system... Yeah, this is okay. So this is at least an attempt at a tutorial for this. And I'll probably make more tutorials, like more little like ruins and things that the player can play on. And also they need to know, or they should learn um, how to do the what have you. I'm trying to think of the word. Oh yeah, the importance of the slope of the terrain when you climb, because your stamina drains significantly faster if you try to climb a sheer slope like this. Versus, like, just a hill or something.
And I think... Eh, yeah, players will probably figure that out. So let's just teleport back to, like... Oh yeah, we're right there. So yeah, the player gets dumped out here. And then once they're up here... There's a few places they can go. They can go there. They can go there. I should probably put a bit more stuff in between here and there. I mean, there are these houses here, but they're not really interesting. Eh, that'll just be a thing for to note. Yeah, there's like the save point there. And then once you get here... Now we're in the now we're in new territory because this is part of so if this is going to be the main story area, what does the player do once they get out to here to keep interest? Because that tower, it's like okay, cool, and now you know we're going to go to that bridge. That's our that's our destination. Pretty clear that it crosses the valley, and also I should you know make the valley uncrossable otherwise or virtually uncrossable otherwise. Like, adding that path up was kind of dumb. Okay. We need stuff in this area. So what do I need to tutorialize still? Because once the player has gotten to here... They should know the basics of running and climbing, but the pistol is still relatively new. So I think stuff here should probably require the pistol to use. And they could and I can encourage the use of the hoverboard cuz they hopefully will get it either from here or from that tower there. Which one? Actually, which one had the hoverboard? One of these things has the hoverboard on it. So I think this may also be, like, maybe I should start, like, a cultural shift. I know. I have those, um, octag- or hexagonal huts. I could make more villages out of those in this desert area. And then we could have some interesting thing out here, like, in the nearby area. Because there's that also in the distance there. Which maybe shouldn't be so close, because it's, like... Because that's how to get one of the other four- one of the other four weapons. Ah, well. Okay, let's add something in this area, then. Probably emphasizing the pistol. And maybe guiding the player up the mountain. Or to that town. Or giving them hints as to that town over there, rather than the plateau. So that way the player gets pulled into multiple directions. Or even way up the valley. But okay. What chunk is this even? So we have 113. Let's have... Let's go back to V4. Wait, let's also... Nah. Too many things. Let's do, like, create task. Main app. Or, like, uh... Main areas. So, like, junk... Oh. Uh.
let's call this like dunk 124 uh more tutorialization of basic movements And then let's see what these chunks look like. So 113 has actually a lot of space here. So yeah, because let's say like maybe there's some more little treats up in here. Like, maybe one of those hive towers. Let's just do, like, a... Um, hive hut dome roof. Another one of these over here. And I think for this one, what I'm going to do is have it so that it's too tall for the player to get up, and there's going to be one of these target flowers. So let's go, um... Oop. And this will be not open. Well, what are the interesting mechanics that I can do with the pistol that I don't do with the tower? Hmm. I guess I could have a switch. All right, so let's go to 113. So that all looks gorgeous, beautiful. And this, uh... Can we, like, remove these modifiers? Oh, well. I'm thinking something like some sort of mining machine. So let's do... This is going to look pretty cool. I wonder if I can add, like, random noise. But I'll, I'll fiddle with that later, because I'm going to do a curve. Boom. Uh, almost. Is this separate from the exterior? Huh. Oh ah, well. Yeah, 
I should probably actually like think about what I'm doing. Hang on, I'm gonna get my tablet. I'm thinking something cool. Eventually, if I can figure out how to plug this dang thing in. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so what I need now is also my Twitch page. Or, yeah, chat. Okay. So let's do... I don't know. 1600 by 1600? 1600 by 1200? Because I didn't want to bother. I wish it would let me pan. Even when it was at full zoom. And also, I'm going to... Put on, uh, I think the Fallout soundtrack, because there's a lot of lyrics to the rest of the music. Okay, so I'm thinking, what sort of mining would they do? And why would they not have removed it is also another question, because they typically scrap the copper that's here. So now that I think about it, what if it's not a, um... What if it's just an oil field? Like, just a modern one, instead of the ancient ruins and stuff. Because I'm thinking, because I want something that's basically mechanical, so that way the player can get more familiar with those directional switches that they use a few times in the tower. But I want them to get more understanding of what they do. Or the basics of them, I guess. Ironically, once they've actually mastered them. Because I'll show... Let's copy... Like, I guess one of... I guess just one of these. Oh, and I just realized this is a counterweight. I had... I've had... I've never known what this was. But just looking at this, I... I understand now. I... I think. This is a counterweight to some sort of internal mechanism in here that actually assume, presumably pumps the oil out, up and out. Hmm. Let's see if I can actually, like, understand how this looks then. So if I wanted to make one of these things, let's see if I can actually draw a straight line with this tablet. Wow. It's going to be rough. But okay, there's... A little thing. So this is presumably the thing where the stuff happens. Like, there's probably a, a pipe down in here. Because then there's... a. Uh, uh, a device on top of this. And then that is attached by a fulcrum 
to a lever to a vertical thing. And then there's a counterweight. And the lever is naturally much taller than this, but... I guess this is the general gist of these oil field things. Because, I mean, there's fences around it, and I think... Let's get another one of these oil miners. Or oil tap? I don't know what they are. Oh, I guess it's just an oil drill. Like a very... Huh. Okay, this one has an interesting design. So yeah, it's the same general principle. There's a... There's a fulcrum, there's a lever, a thing that goes up and down, and the counterweight. And I guess that... Oh, wait. Maybe that's not the counterweight. Maybe the other side is the counterweight. Because, yeah... There's a cable. And also this apparatus spins. So I'm guessing this one does the same... Th ah, yeah. Okay. So I misunderstood. So there's like... For the very simple overview, little thing. There's a little thing that spins right here, and you attach to it. And that, like, gets you, like, attached to here. Attached to here. And then your counterweight, or whatever this is. And this also attaches, or this has cables. That goes straight into some other thing. And I don't know what this is. I don't know which end does which. And then this probably has a counterweight. Or this probably has some sort of weight as well. And it seems like it's actually adjustable. Am I looking at... So if I'm... So if we go to... Yeah, because there's like multiple things. Yeah, so it seems like it's also adjustable. I don't know what the hell any of this is. It's also pretty big. Assuming this is where a person would be standing. I guess they're pretty variable in size. I guess this would be on, like, either side of a box? Yeah, because there's two on this one. So I guess... Should this be... Oil Country? Because I guess it would make sense, if I want to put anything in the desert, for it to be oil. Because there's not really going to be much else in a desert. I mean, I guess maybe other mines and stuff. Hmm. Also, what do, like, exploratory oil, or oil drills look like? Because maybe they tried drilling for oil, and there wasn't really that much. Like, there was enough to keep, like, a couple drills going, but it wasn't, like, enough to be worth the effort of adding more. Because I don't want to- I, I don't want it to just be, like, a big oil field. Is that what- is that what it's called? 
Oh yeah, that's the right word. Because I was going between oil mine, oil drill, oil field. Yeah, because I guess... I guess it's probably going to be... I'll just... I'll do that later, I think. Let's say, like, uh... Oil... Drills? Because that could be some neat aesthetic. But I should probably do, like, uh... More critical things first. Uh, I'm trying to figure out... Where's my paint? Where's my chat, actually? Probably one of these. Okay. I'll just say for now. Because I was going to do, like, uh, the, the copper mine. Or, like, the, a thing made out of copper, but... That's not going to do. I'm not going to do it. I'll do probably oil drills and like some other simple buildings. But let's go through and just like, I guess, plan out more of this stuff. So yeah, we got 101, 102, 89, 88. And I think, what am I going to do? Because I, we're 88 right now. The bridge is broken. Oh. And I don't know if I actually think that's good. Also, there's so many collectibles. Hang on. Let's go to, like, half of these gems. And just, like, delete them. Actually, let's go to my search nodes. Yeah, there we go. Search node function is light is chunk, chunk is gem, node, node. Search to see function. Hmm. What does this actually do for us? Oh, okay. It's because of this. Okay. So if call function node and rand f. Well, let's do like if. Okay, so let's do, um, is gem. So now, we should have half as many gems. And in fact, I could probably do it again. And I'll do it with the bugs as well. Well, I mean, it's a little stingy now. Nah, it's fine. Let's do... Is... Bug. See, now we got all of them cut in half. Uh, still a lot. But let's just make it so that the boring ones go.
It's like these ones kind of thrilling, kind of neat. This one, it's just that's just where you're going. These two kind of neat. This one, boring. This is like, because this is stuff that I designed like a year ago, almost, or th at this point. Well, actually, probably longer than that. It's probably been almost like two years since I've actually seen any of this stuff in this area. Well, no, because it was March 2022 that I started. Like a year and a half almost, because this was like week one or like week two of development. But okay, this seems okay. Do I have 89? I don't even have anything in 89. And then once we get to 87, then it'll start sort of picking up again. Because then you can go to up this tower with the pistol. And I think what I'm going to do, if the player doesn't do this main, if the player doesn't do the story route this main way, uh, that's fine. Because what I'm going to do is uh, the player can get the pistol at other places. Because there's supposed to be 12 capacitors, so I think each of those... Well, yeah, I think the player can get the pistol at any one of them. But each, not they're not necessarily going to get a tutorial if that's the first place they get it. Or if they don't get it somewhere else. Or, you know, you know what I mean. If they play out of order, they might not get a tutorial, but they'll still be able to play the game. But okay, let's play, um, I guess that's it. Let's get rid of this for now. Because this admittedly hasn't been a, um, too much of a doing things stream. It's more of an imagining things stream. But okay. What even? What the hell is this? Like, oh, okay. I thought it was a bug that I could pick up. I was like, what the heck? That's a terrible placement. For some reason, my my controller isn't working. There it goes. Finally. Oh yeah, if you match circle, you can get into this janky position. So I'm gonna, let's just put that in the bugs. But okay, um... What should I do with this? Cause this feels janky. Cause this is like, this is like the main bridge across the valley tech in like the story maybe it's like because one it's dumb that it's broken like from a gameplay perspective it makes sense because that makes it more interesting but it's dumb that it like well i guess i guess i already have sort of a story explanation here like that they repaired it but one of the repairs like one of the recent repairs like collapsed
Also, if the player doesn't have the gun here, they're going to be really out of trouble, or really in trouble. And then it's like, what is this place? Like, I guess this brings them right next to Maslakir, which is good. Because Maslakir and the Junk Town, I think, are going to be another, like, main focal point of the game's story. Or, like, of, like, side quests. Though, admittedly, I need to do stuff with them. Like, this is another place that I haven't worked on in, like, a year. Because let's just go inside here. Yeah, this has one of those... In fact, why does this have, like, the reactor here? That doesn't even make sense from a... That doesn't make sense from a story perspective. And all this stuff is, like, um... Well, I like, I like the gimmick with the moving platforms, actually. But it's also, like, way too little content here. Wait, how do you get up here? Oh, you can just... Was that the intended way up here? And I swear, everything feels too big now. So yeah, I like the emphasis on moving platforms. I think there should be... Well, one, this isn't a foundry. This isn't what foundries look like. They're not giant domes. So it's like... I should think about what I want more. So chunk 87, no, chunk whatever this is. Let's just say, here, make it an actual boundary. Oh. More interesting uh, platforming with moving platforms. Because, yeah, because so far, nothing that we've... So, from all the way over there to here, there's basically no main story content beyond the, um... Beyond that tower itself. So, this is all going to be side content. And then let's go... Let's teleport... Or, let's do, like, a... Okay. So I'm going to try doing this level again. Because it's been like a while. So I'll see if it, it's bad. Because it probably is. But that's okay. See, I haven't worked on this since January.
I mean, this is also the only place in the game where you can't climb on a surf. Oh, wait, you can't climb on. Uh. Huh. The point of these was that you couldn't stand on these, and I was gonna, I was gonna say, like, I'm not really sure if I like that. But now, you can stand on them, and I'm not sure if I like that either. Because that defeats the purpose of the, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really. Like, because it's still harder without the platforms. Yeah, the AI are not terribly smart. Okay, so I'm thinking, what do I want to do with this? Because it's, it's okay, I think. It's been, so far, it's, it's like platforming stuff. That tree is interesting. I don't know what's doing there. And what if I just, if I tried to ignore them? Nah, that didn't really work. So if I shoot this guy off, like that. So I should tutorialize aiming with the gun, and also I should make aiming with the gun feel better. Like, probably a little bit of aim assist. Because right now, you know, you have the super aggressive lock-on. But then, when you zoom in, there's absolutely no assistance whatsoever. What the heck is that? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, junk town needs to be bigger. Though I guess, more importantly, it needs to have stuff to do in it. And yeah, and up here, let's see, which chunk am I in now? So it's probably 62, maybe? Let's just no clip. Oh no, we got a little ways left. Because yeah, this one. Yeah, 74, 62. And I remember I wanted actually to make this little point here a separate, like, thing. Like an, obs uh, like an observatory or something. See, so, yeah, and we should also make the Plateau Town just more interesting. Because, yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, it's kind of dying. But, yeah, there's a long stretch of nothing here. So this should clearly have stuff. And then here, I'm going to make this entire area into, like, a... Um, I'm thinking an observatory. Like, you just put a little something up here. And then maybe there's a quest, like, at night that you have to do up here. That'd be fun. And then here, this village sucks. Well, actually, you know, it's... Let's make diff... I know what to do. Make different huts. Because it's not... Because I do kind of like the ramshackleness. I would like more, like, 
town here. Also, I think these should be, like, raised up. And also, I should probably improve the, uh... The, the model for this wall. Which, honestly... I could probably have just made it, like, a less is more thing. Like, just... Don't have the scrap here at all. And just use this simple rock... Or just this simple stone wall wrapping around the whole thing. Hmm... Oh yeah, and make Orstad's uh, stuff more distinct. So let's say... Uh, more distinct. Hut. The quest around him. Because basically, right now... So if I just do... Uh, this. Let's do blah blah blah, call me. So he basically just gave a humongous lore dump about Jackie's mom. And what I want to do is actually make it so that you have to do stuff in the town rather than just talking to him. Well, I guess... Now that I'm thinking about it, just getting here was a lot of content. Like, just a lot of stuff to do. But I guess I would prefer if there were, like, unique things to do. Because then he recommends that we go to the old village, which is where they used to live. Which is actually due for a major rework as well. Ooh. In this city. Uh... Let's do, like, a... Uh... Old Plateau City, old... And then the... Because there's basically, like, two major cities here. There's gonna be this one, and then there's gonna be one that leads out of the, uh... The Tree Tower. Because I'm gonna probably replace... well... Maybe it'll be like, and then. So can I like move this as a child of this? I can. Cause yeah, here, actually, I just realized the wave shot here. I guess what I can do if I'm doing if I'm still doing a first draft none of that is really important like the um, you know making the city look fancier making their specific content there I guess this I guess the game still functions there honestly it's kind of just nice to just not play test in the demo area anymore because I've been, like, basically working non-stop in there for so long. Okay, and the player can get up there if they want. I think what I'll do with that old copper town. So this will be, like, more, or, like, theme the rail car. You know, because there's, like, this huge city 
or there's like these huge buildings here compared to everywhere else. So it's like, why are they abandoned? Are they abandoned actually? Because now that I think about it, I could condense the specters to like in here and in here. And then this whole place could be populated. And then I just do normal like platforming stuff here. And like maybe there's trolleys and trams that are running regularly. And you can like fiddle with the switches on them. Because the guns in this game are mostly platforming tools rather than combat. So, and also eventually I am probably just going to make them give the player infinite ammo since, you know, I've talked about before, the reason there's not infinite ammo is so that you are incentivized to attack enemies. Whoa, the grass looks all screwed up here. Oh, right, because I broke it. All right, well, that's about. So yeah, basically, uh, I was like, wow, it looks uglier than I remember. Oh, my foliage is just broken in general, I guess. I think? No, these look okay. They just look bad from a distance because I did something. Do they always look this bad? I feel like something reduced in quality here. Oh, well. There should also be a quest for this valley area. Or like some sort of content. Oh yeah, the big tree has its... Let's just fix that, honestly. So that is, uh... Plants? Probably. Tree two? Like, what am I looking for here? Like, let's go to, like, chunk 95. 97? 85. 109. Oh, yep. There we are. Okay, what trees are these? Tree 3. Okay. Where's the... It, it looks correct. Why is it wrong? Let's do visible objects, I guess. Okay, there we go. Hmm, I wonder what I did to the grass, though. What's with the... It's like a red fade in when I die. Hang on. Weird. Why is that? Because I made... So I made the time gun render differently, but that wouldn't change anything here. So let's go to player... Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, I thought it was a nice idea. Let's do... 
so if we do fade here. Is it the time management? Ah, okay. Interesting. So let's do if time slowed. So I'll actually change all, I'll make all of these stay the same. But maybe like this. Well, yeah. And you know what, I'll show off the time gun. I didn't, I didn't get it. Where's the weapons? It's just called the time gun, though, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, it's not called the time gun. Weapon time gun. So, yeah, now it causes redshift to happen. Because it's going by, like, a... Because I was thinking of, like, a quantum mechanics or relativity in the sense that, like, light is still actually moving at the same speed, but it's moving at a lower wavelength due to relativity reasons. Oh, the, uh, stream screwed up. Or the little streamer thing. Mm-hmm. Why did that thing mess up? Let's do that, I guess. What on earth? How did the... How did I break this? Mm-hmm. Weird. I think I'm just gonna remove that little screamer thing. So that's the time trail. And I think eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so Jackie isn't redshifted to indicate that she's, like, uh, not affected by this. Which, technically, like, technically the redshifting would be based on the individual lights, so not Jackie herself, but I figured it'd be fine enough. In fact, I could do that now, because that'd be, that'd be just a fun little thing to do. I'll try it, actually. Because what I'll do is, for all of our materials here, all of our meshes here, let's add a um, material overlay, maybe, or... New shader material. Uh... I forget how our stem, how my stencil stuff works. So let's do like, let's look at water, uh, uh, interior, stencil value test equal. That one, stencil front pass increment. Let's try that.
Because what I'll try for this now is so if all of these have this. Uh, let's go to my time distortion shader. Oh, right here. So this will do like sill test. How do I do this? Test always pass increment. Oh, I misunderstood the player base mesh anyway. Uh, let's save this one. And actually, I need to be... I'll use the bathroom again. I'm, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to look at my water interior shader. Oh, wait, I should probably actually show this. So water test front increment, or yeah, stencil front test always pass increment. Value zero test equal. Oh yeah, that's actually what I need for this. So yeah, because if we go to time management... Then this thing 
and then go to here. Test always passing command. And I think what this will do, I think this will do what I want. Because I think the stencil is written and then it's discarded, maybe. If not, actually, I can just do like a... I can do like a blend add and then the color will just be... Like that. And so this way it does it as well. It just adds nothing or does anything like that. And I think now for all of these. We have that. And then hopefully. So I'm just going to take a big risk here and just test it. In game. Because what this should do is now the player will not be affected by this. It did not work. Hmm, why is that? Hmm. What I'm gonna do... Let's test by just putting this here, maybe. Oh wait, no, I can't test it there. Because I can't see behind 2D screen. Uh, hmm. What if we did value 1 test equal? What if I made... Hang on, I'm going to make a different thing. Let's do... Um, no, no, let's do, like, visual test. Because this doesn't... This does... Uh, oh, it doesn't have its... Oh, it does have its things. Okay. Let's just add... Let's just get this, actually. Water interior shader. Okay, so what I'm going to try here is this should only work if the player is not rendered in front of it, I thought. I thought that's what was going to happen. I thought if the player base mesh here, I guess maybe these, hang on, maybe this has to be, let's copy this material and then we're going to remove all of these material overlays here. So let's just put in like the player material. And that's fine as it is. What is this? Oh, it's already here. Oh, right, because this is all the same material. Okay. And maybe this will work? So what it should do... Okay, there it is. There it is. The player is no longer... Well, sort of. I don't... Oh, interesting. I don't really understand that. But 
but also when the player generates their coat. Show coat. So coat mesh. Dot. Next. Pass. Or map dot. Thanks. Yeah. Because it seems like. Actually, I'll, I'll just put the player closer to this as well, so I can get a better look at it. Because basically my goal is to make it so that the player writes to the stencil buffer and then, like, ignores the, um... And so that way I can have things that only apply to everything other than the player, basically. Wait, math, uh, dot next pass equals... Let's just call it, like, player stencil. This will be... So now, anytime the player's coat changes, their uh, stencil material should also change. And this explains why it didn't work at first, because I didn't put it here. Okay, so now when we go to visual test, I think if I do this in the... Okay. Weird. There's something to do with, like, the order in which things are being rendered here. That makes it so this doesn't quite work how I want it to. Because I want the player to always render first. Eh, well. Let's see how this works. So it doesn't really work. Well, it kind of works. So yeah, this is basically what I want with the red shifting now. So if I do item web time. Let's see if this works. Because I think it might be because it's a canvas, it does something different. Yeah, so let's try instead then. Having this be, um, let's change the type of this to a quad, or like a mesh instance. It'll just be a quad mesh. Uh, I'm stop. Later, render mode. Skip vertex transform. Oh, it has to be value zero. And then Let's also have this be... Oh wait, one of the issues is going to be... This is... This will... Um, mess up transparent objects. Or other transparent objects. Like water and stuff won't be able to render. So I may, I may wind up not doing this this way. Well, let's try anyway. Oh, 
Uh, load. Okay, so if I did item web time gun. Mm-hmm. Doesn't quite work. So how does this work? Visible or zoom? Oh, because it's the output animation. OK. So all of these are going to be fixed up. So slow will go. Let's just say it goes from zero distortion to one distortion here. And it'll start from uh, one darkness and go to zero darkness. And then when we resume, it'll go from one distortion to zero distortion. Let's also, or I know what to do. Call disabled. Maybe this as well. Hmm. Ah, oh, okay. Now it's sort of working. There is a weird thing with that. Yeah, because now it's doing the, the priority thing. Oh, well, let's see if this works if I do um, skip vertex transform. Oh, wait, and I just realized there's so many different pro other problems with this, which are going to be, like, um, the fact that this now needs to be in the scene, like, visible in the scene at all times, like, visible from the frustum, or else it gets culled, even if I do skip vertex transform. So if we do... Huh, for some reason, why does this not work? Okay, so this at least does this. So if we go here, and we start the game, and I shoot the time gun, it should at least uh, kind of do what I want. Almost. Oh, wait, it also seems to actually kind of work. Oh, wait, and that's the frustum culling that we're seeing there.
Also, like... There's something weird with it. Hang on. So it, like, snaps to different colors. So if I... Huh. So if we go to animation player, resume. Zero. I guess maybe darkness needs to be set to zero. Or it needs to be set to one or something. Oh wait, and this, I know. This needs to be unshaded. So I'm surprised it actually kind of seems to, like, work. Like, the transparent objects weren't broken. Yep, sound effects are affected. So if I actually did rapid start, it'd be easy to tell with the gun. Oh, right. Oh, okay, I forgot. It, was the, it kept fading in and out because it's at zero coordinates. So, like, now it's, yeah, so I need to figure out, uh, make sure that that works. But also, I'm seeing the uh, stencil does not work with that still. Which I don't know why it wouldn't. Actually, what if we did pre, uh, uh, where's the shader? So we actually need vec4 vertex dot xy, negative 1.0, zero. Wait, hang on, how does this... I thought it went from negative one to one. Maybe if I do zero here. Now there's a bunch of extra cull margin, but it's not quite good enough for me. But okay. So the stencil buffer is still not working. Oh wait, it's kind of working. Sometimes. But I don't know why. Like, there's a brief second where it works. So it's sort of... I guess it's the same problem that this is having, where sometimes it just doesn't render, right? And I don't know... I don't know what that means. Because my only other hope is to add just a, like, like a global to all of the, uh... I don't get this. So it's something to do with the stencil buffer. Or the, the material that writes to the stencils writing, I guess, after everything else? Maybe it's like a sorting thing? Or, like, now this is technically closer to the center of the screen than this? I 
And I think... I don't think there's any way of doing this either. I'm just surprised that still works, because these are both... Um... Oh wait, no, they aren't both transparent. That one's a multiply filter, I just realized. So if we change this to a water exterior... So like if I just change this to like a standard water material, then it won't work with it. I'm pretty sure. Huh. Oh, it, okay. Hmm. Okay, because this renders after the other one, and it overwrites its value. Hmm, okay. So that was... I'm not gonna... I, I'll just not go forward with that. Let's go to power. Oh, I haven't had git open at all this entire time. Let's do, like, git checkout management. Let's go back to the base mesh. Let's remove uh, this code here. Because I think there's the stencil just isn't being rent, written to consistently. And I'm going to remove it from here. Let's just do... Okay. Cool stuff, basically. Let's go back to the actual game now. So what I've been doing is I need to think more about the overall story. Hmm. So I have a few places, so I guess my next main thing to do will be to beef up that, uh, will be to beef up the town out on the other side of this, uh, little valley. And also probably to buff up this valley. So I'll have to think of, like, what do I want to do with that? And also, I should fix the grass. Actually, I'll just do that now. Well... Why was it messed up anyway? So do I not have, like, instant stuff anymore? No, I have this stuff. Huh. Maybe it's, uh, let's go to 85 again. So why is this grass so ugly? Oh, it doesn't have a material.
to do, I guess, a little bit more generous of an alpha clip. Okay, so now it's much better. Uh, this will be materials, brass, or environment, brass one, I guess. So I think it must have been that I did something with the uh, mesh. See if this even worked. <clears throat> there we go. So now the grass is greener on the other side. Admittedly, I think it could fade away when it gets far away. Because, like, right now, the grass is just, like, it's just always visible. Or from any distance, and it kind of looks, like, janky as it comes in. Especially because it doesn't have any wind or motion. Maybe I'll just bring my... I'll just integrate the same code as the uh, plants. Plant opaque moving. So let's do like... Where's our grass shader? So I think that's all I needed for that. Yeah, because the rest of this stuff, this is just all my normal light code stuff. Let's close all. Let's see if I can get this grass looking good. It's already looking a little better. Just from the fact that it actually moves at all. Hmm. I think that might actually kind of be everything that I want with this. Because it seems to be like... I like, designed these exactly how much I wanted, almost. Oh. Wrong thing. Hmm. 
this this preview gives me anxiety. I hate it. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's plenty of motion for me. <laughs> Yep, that gives a that gives a lot more life to this. And someday I might even tie it into a wind system. And actually I should probably do the same with the foliage on these, but I don't know. They're a bit more complicated because they don't have the um uh, other stuff. They look really nice, though, with the subsurface scattering. Actually, does this work with water? Okay, so this renders after it. I remember which one of these is VLC. Okay. So I think what I should do is off stream what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan more of the um, more stuff to do with the city here or the writing for that little village. This is the way out, maybe. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this city and that city, or that little village together. And it's just going to be one larger populated area. Oh wait, uh... Interesting. Oh, I didn't realize that this gun actually had 
an aim system. Does it? I guess it makes sense. I guess it's fine that it does. I mean, it has no functional use, but... I think what it's going to be is that these guys are actively taking out, um, or will actively target and shoot at the what have you. Hang on, this the music's getting louder and louder. Yeah, so this area will be populated throughout, but more sparsely populated than other cities of a similar size, just because not many people actually want to just carry a rifle around at all times and shoot guys, or shoot those, uh, specters. So yeah, I think it's going to be the upper levels of the buildings are dangerous because of the, all the flying specters. So people just live down below and just hang out. Okay. That's well, good enough for me. So let's say... That'll be my, I guess, won't ship thing. And it'll just be... It'll be like, uh... So I think it'll be, if we, if I get off this thing, maybe. It's just not, hang on, why is it, okay, there we go, finally. There's something wrong with how Godot focuses for PC, because like, I clicked to shoot, but then I couldn't, uh, like, move the mouse at all. So yeah, basically... I'm just going to add a bunch more buildings in here. I'm going to make that stuff... Actually, I might just make this museum. That's a fun idea. So, people live in the museum, I think. Yeah, that'll be what I use this area for at long last. Because eventually, because I didn't actually have any, or I had plans for this, but then I never actually went through with them. So yeah, it'll be this, and then this will be like well fortified, and that'll be where everybody lives. And then, do I want to do anything with this? 
I mean, I guess I could still have this, because it's already here. I'll just have most of the stuff that you actually do in this area. And I could still make the nice little huts, though. So let's say that. Let's just, let's just say, I'll contemplate it. Hmm. And I'll try making these, so these little cable networks. They were okay, but they're not super interesting. So yes, basically, you have to jump around stuff. Something wrong with the transition between climbing and crawling there on moving platforms. Oh wait, this guy's like really aggressive. Oh, he has a coat. Oh yeah, speaking of, since I'm here... I'm going to rename these coat rarities. So where did I put that? That was like visuals or something? Ah, well. Let's just... I'll just change it now. So let's do, like, save. Uh... Have I done anything actually useful? Uh, updated grass material. Anything interesting here? I forgot what I was doing. Coat. Okay. Let's go to coat. So the rarities are going to be... I swear I had them named somewhere. Let's just remove this rarity. Did I accidentally put it under spoilers? Let's look. Oh wait, I put it... It's because I have the higher priority stuff. Maybe. Nope, I have no idea. I'll just rename them. So... Plain... Uh...
What's a good word between interesting and dazzling? I know. Uh, let's let's call this. Ooh, tailored. That's a nice one. Oh, now I'm gonna have to... Let's do, uh... Hang on, let's... And then... Uncommon... Sublime stays the same. Alright, let's see if the game still works. Oh. How did this not take? Oh, I must not have saved the file before I started editing that. Okay. Now let's see if it works. Actually, do I even need the rarity to be here? Could I do... Hang on. I wonder if I can just do... Coat.rarity. No, okay. I don't think that works. Well... Yeah, that doesn't work. Let's see. Dazzling coats, tailored coats, fashionable, plain. I think the player should be allowed to stand on that. I disagree with the game on how that works. I think maybe it'll just be in like no stand or something. No, this script is loading. It's loading just... Okay. Just quit the game. Open Godot.
That's all a okay. I'm sure there's never going to be any issues because of memory allocation bugs. Or scenario bugs. Okay. So no stand. What's the... Hang on. Flower... Tar target flower. Because one of these is in a group. No crush. No crush. Body closed. Don't stand. Why did I call it don't stand? Okay. Okay, so that seems to be good. So I can just add this to the don't stand group, I think. Seventy-five, maybe? Seventy-three. There we go. So this thing. all the shader compilation. Hmm. Doesn't quite like it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what else I should do. Because this was kind of a slow day. Just sort of a play around and think about things. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some stuff prepared for, like, building out this city some more. Because I think this will be the next, like, major story place for the player. So I want it to be, like, a more interesting place. Because, <clears throat> you know, then they can go down to, like, Maslakir. And I think this will probably be an area where they can... Maybe they'll do, like, bounties out here. That'd be interesting. Because I think I may make a system for NPCs to take down, uh, crawlers. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll call it for today. It's just a little... A more relaxing day after a bunch of coding and stuff. And then I'll be back tomorrow for, uh... 
modeling that and writing stuff, I think. Because I'll probably do some, some sketches. Alright. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by. I guess that'll be it for tonight. See you tomorrow.